The cameras are fixed to one man. Will he add to his total of four goals from his last three? This is EA TV. One of the great, most atmospheric venues anywhere in the football world. We're at the home of Borussia Dortmund. I'm Derek Ray, and keeping me company here on the commentary gantry is Stuart Robson. And it's a quarter-final second leg battle in the UEFA Champions League. It is Borussia Dortmund versus Barcelona. Well, Derek, I'm really looking forward to this one because I thought Dortmund were really good in that first game. They played some great attacking football, they worked really hard, and they looked very well organised. They were excellent. It's now with Van der Beek. Good visualisation and execution. And a goal it is! No long wait for the opener today. Well, let's look at the replay. They moved the ball so well, just waiting for an opening. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. On to Werner. And Barca moving the ball with purpose. Fabian. Oh, and a venomous effort. Rattling the crossbar. Well, what? Depay. And will they be able to play it in behind the defence? An incisive pass. Usman Dembele is the man who has scored here. Well, as you can see, the weight of the through ball is key to this goal. And when he gets onto it, he decides to go for power. It's a really emphatic finish, which gives the keeper... Won it back. Emre Can. Here is Digne. An encouraging move from Dortmund. Oh, the keeper made it look routine. It was anything but... going to be all for the first half here in the Ruhr region substitution it is for Dortmund And Dortmund will go to the bench. Corner kick played in. Thumps clear. Brandt. And Jovic now. Kehra. Oh, that pass easy on the eye. And getting across to stop it. Well, he's lost the ball. Good vision. Can he get onto this? Good technique displayed. Oh, the crossbar is still reverberating. And striking the post. Straight but forward field. stop. Five minutes to go. Zan. Crossing possibilities. Has a go. Well, the keeper has outdone himself. Wonderful save. Won it back. The end of the game then, officially. And a victory for the Schwarz-Gelben. Their fans are going to be happy with this.
Yes, Derek, fairly comfortable in the end, wasn't it? Thought they controlled the middle of the park for the most part. And going forward, there were some really nice, incisive plays as well. Good result for them. One man the focus of attention. Top marksman in the Champions League. Can he add to his haul this evening? And welcome to one of the most football crazy cities anywhere in Europe. We are in Dortmund, famed of course for the famous Yellow Wall. My name is Derek Ray and sitting alongside me in the commentary box providing expert analysis is Stuart Robson. And we're ready to bring you the second leg of this UEFA Champions League semi-final. How do you see it panning out, Stuart? Well, the first leg was a really good game, Derek. It had action at both ends, it was an even contest, and it's set up perfectly for this second leg. Hopefully we're not disappointed. Well, you never quite know who's going to dominate a game in advance, but I think you can maybe make an argument for this fellow, Stuart. What do you think we'll see from him today? Well, Derek, we know he's got great pace. But... Oh, they might score here, Stuart. An early goal. It is the ideal opening. 2-1 is the aggregate lead. The ball. Amadou Haidara in position here to protect the ball and in with a real chance there it is a fantastic goal and no wonder he's off celebrating well here's the replay and it's a really good bit of play watch how he turns his marker and then has the composure to finish that's a top class goal in the end, no damage done. It needs an accurate cross. Hussai. That's not a bad ball. And a goal here. Accuracy with the header. Just what they needed. Plenty of goals if you look at the aggregate. Look at Dinia. Zan. And he's made headway. And a goal here. There it is. They've done it. Well, we can take another look now. It's wonderful interplay between the two of them to start the move. And his movement's so clever. Once he gets onto it, there's only one thought in his head. And a useful cross. Well, they had a decent reading of that ball in. Breaking at pace. There's a slide draw pass. And it might be. And it's two for him today. A masterful performance. The defenders unable to stop it. Well, let's look at this again, Derek, because the transition when the ball changes hands is so quick. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. That's going to be all for the first half here in the Ruhr region.
And Dortmund will go to the bench. Hello to you from the metropolis on the River Main, the city of Frankfurt. We're at the Deutsche Bank Park. My name is Derek Ray, and sitting next to me here on the commentary gantry is the former Arsenal and West Ham United midfield man, Stuart Robson. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It's Eintracht Frankfurt facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. Well, he dealt with that ball played in rather well. And you don't want to lose possession there. Digne gives it a go. Oh, a good diving save. It's been really inventive. They just need to be more clinical in front of goal. Emre Can. Well, he could run onto it here. High degree of difficulty to hit it on the volley like that. Well, the attack looks promising. Oh, managing to beat him. Could cross it in here. He's gone and found the net! Brilliant piece of finishing! Goal. Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it, and he makes no mistake with the finish. He showed a lot of composure there. Far so good for Dortmund. Stuart, your overall take. Well, it's been a tight game so far, but they've just had that little bit more quality on the ball, particularly in midfield, where they've just started to take... Oh, opportunity here, Stuart! And a goal to square the game! Into the seat stuff! Well, here's the replay, and in many ways, it doesn't do justice to how patient they were in the build-up. Just so composed, waiting for the right moment. And he's moved... 1-1... One, one. Really nice ball, and tossing through, and a goal it is to put them in front again, no less than they deserve. Well, as you can see here, it all starts with a perfectly weighted ball in behind the defenders, and there's certainly no doubt about the finish. He really hits it with power and accuracy, nothing the keeper can do about that. Now Boré. And a long way out, and denied by the keeper. Impressive. A chance then for the respective managers to address their charges. It is half time here. And Dortmund will go to the bench. It's not in their own hands. They must win and hope results elsewhere go in their favour to be crowned champions. The action is live. And a warm welcome to the Zignali Duna Park. 
I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you match commentary, and alongside me is Stuart Robson. And today's the day they could be crown champions. It is Borussia Dortmund up against Augsburg. Well, Derek, speaking to the fans outside the ground, they're in buoyant mood, so expect a brilliant atmosphere as they look to push their team over the line. What scenes we'll have at the end should they clinch the title today? Can't wait for this one. And the match begins. Real chance. Oh, he's missed, but by a minuscule margin. Can't worry about scores elsewhere. This could be a very nervy climax to the season. Really well played pass. Long way out. Well, a long distance effort and a highly respectable one, Stuart. Well, he surprised everybody, including me. It's a decent effort, you have to say. But it all went to plan for Borussia Dortmund last time out against Eintracht Frankfurt. What do you expect to see this time, Stuart? Oh, he's through a goal here, Derek. But it could be a title-winning goal. No wonder they're celebrating. Can they hold their nerve now? Well, here's the goal again, and it's a great ball to put him through. Good vision to set up the chance, and then what a strike. That's it with such ferocity. Certainly no stop. A strong that. case for this man, I think, Stuart. What are you expecting to see from him? Well, the stats don't lie, do they? He's been in terrific form, scoring goals almost at will. Just one away from the record now, and you really won't put it up. And a goal it is! What does it mean? Well, it means silverware could be coming their way. That's a big moment. They can't let it slip now, surely. Well, as you can see, this catches everybody by surprise. Look where he is when he strikes it. That's a great goal. Dortmund just can't dominate the possession. But that oh, one... wait a minute, Stuart. Opportunity. There it is. And no wonder he's celebrating. Now we can call him a record breaker. Well, what a player and what a season. He's been absolutely brilliant and he's not finished yet. Well, here it is again. And the pace in which they break forward is devastating. It's so hard to defend against. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past. Emre Can now. Kira. It might be on for them. It should be. Terrific block there. A goal! How about that? He's put it away to make it a hat trick. Well, here it is again. And I don't expect Golkin to save everything at the end of the opponent. But on this occasion, although it's a good strike, he should do better.
half time then and right now they're in position to be crowned champions but Stuart 45 minutes left for play it could yet turn around well as you said they're in a great position at the moment but you just can sense tension amongst their fans they just need to put a good 45 minutes in now Fans are beginning to pour into the stadium and the tension is palpable. It's Sevilla, they take on Borussia Dortmund and the action is next on EA TV Live. This is where every top-level footballer wants to be after a long season. The Champions League final, only two teams left in the battle for Europe's Premier Club competition. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined for commentary on this final tonight by Stuart Robson. It's Sevilla facing Borussia Dortmund. Well, Derek, this is magnificent. The atmosphere inside this stadium is electric. Let's just hope the tension doesn't affect the players. It shouldn't do. Just look at the quality down there. This is it, the Champions League final. They are underway. Who will be crowned club kings of Europe? Top class defending. Well, he always has to be regarded as a dangerous opponent. Oh, he's so... through on goal here, Derek. Flinging himself at it, the keeper. Could be dangerous. Dangerous ball. And it's a moment he would like to have back, if possible. We'll happily collect that one. Luka Jovic. Breaking at pace. Gives it a go! Oh, a good diving save. By Hummels. Luka Jovic. Well, visionary passing. Well, getting in the way. Superb save. Short corner it is. And looking towards the back post. Oh, and it goes! It's the opening goal for Dortmund in this Champions League final. Incredible scenes. Well, here's the replay, and they work it well just to change the angle on the cross. And it's a comfortable finish in the end, which is made to look so easy. It's a lovely goal. And problem solved for now. And the whistle is sounded for half-time in this game. On the offensive. 
Will they get themselves level here? Oh, a goal it is! The equaliser in this final. What next in the drama? Well, as you can see, it was a fairly simple finish in the end, but you still have to be in the right place, keep your composure and finish it off, and that's exactly what he did. Bellingham. Here is Dinya. Decent position for Dortmund to be in. The keeper diving magnificently to make sure he got there. Zan. Gaia. Oh, great attacking play. Oh, it's a goal! And that gives them the advantage. Will they be able to keep it? Here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. But there's still plenty to do from here. He hits it so well, though. Lots of fun. Oh, great vision. No way through. Well, a corner it is, and they know they've got to be... Well, here it is again, and he's a bit unfortunate, you have to say. But it will count as an own goal against him, I'm afraid. How about this? Borussia Dortmund have only gone and won the UEFA Champions League. Well, just look at the emotions out there. Joy and relief on one side, despair and heartache on the other. But we've got the right winners here. They fully deserved it on the night. For these players, well, it's the night of their lives and they're determined to enjoy every millisecond. Well, they have to make the most of this, don't they? It's a great feat. What an achievement from them. Well, they don't need to be reminded about what comes next. It's the presentation of the coveted Champions League trophy. Well, there's some tired players out there, but what you can be sure of, they'll find some energy when they get their hands on the trophy. They'll be going mad in the next few moments. The Champions League winners, Borussia Dortmund. Well, this is what they wanted. What a moment for these players. They've worked so hard to win this trophy. They've been fantastic. And you can feel the emotion natural to reflect on this final but so much hard work has gone into the entire campaign memories memories what would a celebration be without the chance to enjoy it with your own supporters well these fans have certainly played their part haven't they they'll savor these moments they've traveled far and wide to follow their team they're loving every minute of this, and why not? They deserve it. A performance of fire as well as ice. They held their nerve when that was necessary. And these celebrations will run long into the night.